What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com and we have a 2009, this is the last year of the Harley Davidson owned-ish Buells. This is the 1125R and it's actually a fairly rare bike. They're beautiful though. This is the American, this is the American sport bike and uh, just to give you a little bit of backstory. Now, the Buell, this is the last year when they made the Buells. Buells actually ended in this year, and a big part of the reason why they ended was, it was 2000, in 2008, they realized, you know, the, the, the motorcycle industry was, 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 was having a really tough time. Harley-Davidson was having a tough time. Everyone, that was really when it really dropped down. It was at its peak, and then it just, you know, went in half, even more than that. Uh, it really dropped down. It was a tough, tough time for everybody. So Harley decided to drop Buell. But some of the cool, unique things about Buell is they always had really tight, really tight um, wheel bases. Very narrow, very nimble, which I'm about to find out firsthand. The fuel tank, you see it's not, this is not the fuel tank. The fuel tank is actually inside the frame, um, which is, you know, unique for a sport bike. And then apparently they, they, would, they would store the oil inside the swing arm. An interesting fact about after, I mean, Eric Buell got a raw deal when this whole thing went down. He, left, he was left with nothing. He couldn't even have the name Buell. They made him change his last name. He was left with nothing. And the last motorcycle that came off the Buell production line ended up in a Barber, Barber Motorsports Park Museum. If you have not been to the museum, it's an amazing museum. It's beautiful out there. But a really interesting side note is that when when Eric Buell stopped, or when this whole thing was done, uh, and Eric Buell had a lot of free time on his hands, he actually wrote a blues album. <laughs> I looked it up. I thought it was a joke. I looked it up. It's Eric Buell and the Thunderbolts. It's, it's crazy. It, it's actually not that bad. So check it out. Let's take this thing for a spin. <laughs> this is my first time riding it. All right, guys, let's start today like we should. Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. In this situation, fruit is not always a good thing. Guys, this is Sean, and I am bogarting this test drive video to remind you to subs click the subscribe button right down below and press that little call gear to get notifications. We're doing tons of test drives, tons of fun videos, all the time, every single day. And also, as always, look in the description box to see the information about our current inventory, to see information about the motorcycle giveaway we're doing. We also have crazy good deals on parts and accessories down in the description box. Check it out. We'll see you guys later. So I'm gonna give you some first-hand feelings. And listen, we all know feelings are dumb. Unless you're riding a motorcycle. Then whatever feelings you have while you're riding the motorcycle, about the motorcycle, eh, they might be legit. You know what, let's just scratch that. Feelings are dumb. I'm gonna give you guys the facts of what I feel. No, the facts of what I think. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion. There we go. My opinion. I don't buy into this whole, my truth. My truth, your truth. There's one truth. Truth, by definition, is exclusive. There's only one truth. There's not multiple truths. Oh. Oh, ho. A little more than I was expecting. Maybe I'll have to take this thing on the highway and really let this thing loose. Find a good spot that I can cut loose. So it is, this with this narrow wheelbase, it is very, very, it is very, very nimble. You know, it's like FZ07 type of nimble. It feels nice. The electronics are cool when it's it says CT cold. I don't know if that's just telling me that it's cold outside because I already know it's cold outside. The ergonomics are just you know usual sport bike ergonomics. 
bent over, race bike style. It's comfortable if you feel comfortable on any other bike, any other sport bike. That's the Bible verse, we lost it. <coughs> Holy cow. Don't want to drive over that. <coughs> so one of the coolest things about this bike is this put together American V-Twin. Well, the whole thing's an American bike. This is the only an original, I think it's the only one, American sport bike. And you gotta you gotta respect that. And what Eric Buell was doing in that time was, you know, his goal was to make something different. He didn't want to make a bike like everyone else's bike. He didn't want to do what everyone else was doing. He wanted he wanted to do something new. And he obviously had limitations, um, but he wanted to do something new, and he wanted his he wanted his bikes to be at least 10% different than all the other bikes. And that's not easy. If you look at most most sport bikes, yeah, you can tell that if you know them well enough, you can tell the difference. But they all look very very similar. They're all kind of picking back off each other, you know. They're all very very similar in a lot of in a lot of ways. Now, they, 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 you know. They start varying with Aprilia and Ducati and and the uh, and the big Jap bikes, you know, and just engines. But they got some. They were getting great torque out of these bikes, out of these V twins. Let's let's feel a little bit of that torque right now. Wow, a lot more impressive than um, what I was expecting. This bike really moves. I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not have high expectations on the raw power of this engine. Now I haven't looked up at the specs. I, I, I still I don't know if it, if it really can compete. In power and acceleration with the um, with the other leader bikes but it definitely feels like it's more than the 600 I, I, hey I might be wrong we'll get on the highway and we'll find out you know it's, it's, it's really hard to know how something can compete with something else unless you're like racing it or unless you have something, something to gauge it to you know what I mean like if the transmissions are similar gearing and if you can pull a, if the one can pull a power wheelie at 60 miles an hour and the other one can't you know what I mean that, that, that's a pretty good gauge of oh okay that one might be a little bit faster look at all mud alright I'm excited I'm going to jump on the highway We're gonna see what this Buell can really do. Another cool, unique thing about the Buell is their giant, giant uh, single one-sided uh, brake rotor. <clears throat> Instead of doing a small one and doing two, they thought, let's just do a giant one. <clears throat> You can say a lot of things about the Buells, but you gotta admit, they are unique. <laughs> Bike's got a lot of pep. A lot of highway pep. never been on a V-twin that was this that pulled this hard at these highway speeds with the exception of a Ducati never never in my life 
I have never driven any Harley motorcycle that pulled like this on these highway speeds. Very impressive. And it feels good. Nice and nimble. It's actually a lot smoother than what I thought it would be. I mean, you get that, you get that, you know, the uh, the V twin feel, but it's not. There's not vibration going up through your arms or your butt or anything like that. Um, it's a good ride. Even at even at like top gear. Even at top gear, this thing pulls very, very hard. And part of the reason is that it doesn't it doesn't need high RPMs to to get its power. It's got it's got good power everywhere, even at the lower RPMs. Which is nice for daily driving, but also, but also racing. You don't have to shift as much. You don't have to always keep yourself in the, in the peak RPMs. Oh, it does have a gear indicator. All right, it's got a gear indicator. AT, AT says 46 degrees. I don't know what AT is. Outside, after, temperature, at. Let's see what else it has. This bike has just over a thousand miles on it, apparently. Well, I'm not sure how to get it back to the old. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how to get it back to that trip I'm though. What's that? That was a horn. Something I've always liked about the Buells, and this, it took the other, it took the import companies uh, like five years or more to catch up to it, or a decade to catch up to it, is their very sleek, slim exhaust. Uh, the exhaust just tucks right in there. It's on a big can hanging out with extra weight. All the weight is on the very bottom. All the weight's on the very bottom, lowest point. It seems like just now the uh, the motorcycle companies are actually doing some of that stuff. The uh, the, uh, the Jap bike companies. <clears throat> Not all of them, but some of them. You know, you see it on the Versus and stuff like that. Very impressive bike. I was actually much, much more impressed with the power than I thought. Um, I mean, I, I would think this would have no problem keeping up with the other, uh, with the other leader bikes of its time. I could be wrong. But I don't know. Hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic brakes, of course. I'll tell you this, for the price, for the price of these things, and for the price of this one, I think we have it like for like 4,000 or 3,900 bucks. And for a bike like this that moves like that, you are getting a lot of bike. I mean, bang for your buck, it's really hard to beat. And also you're getting a piece of American motorcycle history that you can beat up and rack and wrap around a tree and <laughs> and drive and come on that's what that's what that's what motorcycles are for there's already one there's already one in a museum the one you need to buy needs to be for your own fun all right guys that wraps up this test drive I have not done any wheelies on this bike. It's just a little too cold. They said it was in the 20s. 
a little too cold for that. All right, guys, we'll see you later. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Guys, if you're just jumping on, if you're brand new to this, uh, to watching us, you gotta check out, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Sean from SRK Cycles. Uh, we do test drives, we do fun videos, we do a lot of test drives, and we also sell motorcycles. So if you wanna see test drives of some new, old, new and old stuff, subscribe, click the subscribe button right down below. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. We'll see you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bottom. Click on the little test drive. Click on the little uh, subscribe button on the bottom. We do tons of test drives. We're pumping out tons of fun videos all the time. We'll see you guys later. <coughs> Enjoy. <coughs> What's up guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles. And thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see more content. And as always, click in this, check out the description box to see our latest inventory and our killer deals, to see how to win a free motorcycle, and also to see our latest uh, bikes and beards gear. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. Oh.